So Halloween Kills is the sequel slash continuation of the 2018 Halloween. The bar was probably set a little too high with the 2018 and I expected probably too much out of this. And it just suffered from that stereotypical, it's a sequel that's not as good as the original. Now Michael Myers is, I feel, second stage to the main topic of this movie. It should be Michael Myers. It should be Michael Myers versus Laurie Strode, but it's not. This movie almost felt forced because the main focus on this movie seems to be the mob going after Michael Myers and what happens when a mob gets out of control. And I feel that's the whole presence here and maybe it's bad timing or maybe it is purposely done this way because of everything going on in the world today that they want to make a point of, look what happens when mobs get out of control. Let's not make mobs. Let's, and I just, it feels forced and it feels like there's something else behind it, that this wasn't part of the Michael Myers story. Now, maybe that's me looking too much into it, but I still feel that Michael Myers wasn't the main topic. And then we got Laurie Strode, who, again, it's like Batman and Robin. You can't have Michael Myers and Laurie Strode, like, separate. Like, they had their own separate stories. This wasn't him going after her or her going after him. She was basically in a hospital the whole time, not doing much. So, I mean, we had Michael Myers running around killing people for no reason, essentially, until we figured out what that reason was, or at least we think we know what that reason was later down the road. It's still left kind of un unknown. But I just, I don't know. It's just, I feel like the story fell apart. But I don't want to make it sound like it was all bad because there was some pretty good killing involved here. I mean, we can't have Michael Myers without some good killing, right? So we got some good slashing, some good stabbings, some good head smashes, but it feels like they're all kills that I've seen before. There's nothing original going on here. He just smashes a head into something different or uses something different to stick in your eye or something different to, you know, it just seemed like the same thing over and over. Nothing really original about this, except for the opening scene. The opening scene was really good. The opening scene on this was fantastic, actually. Not sure why I didn't start this video with that. Probably should have. But the opening scene was fantastic. And you got out, the firefighters were all dying in different ways, and it was great. Why couldn't they carry that through the rest of the movie? So there was a lot of blood and gore, not a lot of horror, if that makes sense. I wasn't scared. I didn't really feel the boogeyman presence. Um, except for a couple of times. Now, I will say a couple of times, it did feel like a good Michael Myers movie. I just, I don't know. I'm left unsatisfied here. Now, there were a lot of Easter eggs and tie-ins with past movies, such as the Shamrock Mask with the witch, the skeleton, and the pumpkin. Those were a nice touch. I really enjoyed those. We also have a lot of the old cast and characters and survivors from the very first and that made for a really good tie-in as well. It just kind of made it feel like it was really part of that Michael Myers world, that universe that we're all trying to tie in together with this movie. So it feels continued. I will say that it does feel like a good continuation, but I feel like they missed the overall execution. Every single stereotypical horror movie rule of surviving was broken in this movie. And to the extent that I just kind of sat back and went, that didn't just happen. You didn't just do that. You know, and that's the kind of thing that bugged me is the 2018 movie didn't have that. There was originality. They didn't make all those typical horror movie mistakes. I mean, there was a couple made, but still. But then there was this point where Laurie Strode's daughter removed Michael Myers' mask and then you see him, not like really full frontal, like out in the light, but you see him enough and you're like, the whole persona of Michael Myers is gone. I'm not scared of this guy anymore. It's just some old guy behind a mask. 
And it kind of ruined the Michael Myers thing for me. And I was just like, put the mask back on. Just put put the mask back on, please. That's just, no, I, I just don't. No, I know I'm making it sound like the entire movie is bad. And the entire movie's not bad. It's a good movie. It's just not something I'm probably going to go out and watch every single Halloween. Now, the 2018 one, I probably will. This one, probably not. And that's because most of the focus was put on the mob and the story of Michael Myers was secondary. I mean, that's just the way it felt to me. One thing I will say is though there was a lot of blood and gore. The body count was way up there. I mean, I can't imagine any slasher film having a bigger body count than this at this point. But I don't know. I'm gonna leave it up to you. If you've already seen it, leave your comments down below. I wanna know what you thought of this movie. I thought it was good, not great. Kind of disappointed after following such a great 2018 movie. And I know there's a third coming out. We still gotta see Halloween ends. And I'm hoping that's where Lori and Michael Myers meet up again. And it becomes more about them than some other random topic. So please let me know down in the comments what you thought of the movie. I want to discuss this with as many of you as possible. Do me a favor, drop a like on the video, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm Kevin, and I'll catch you with the concession stands.